can see all these are the loops of the small yeah. intestine which is jejunaminilia right and down below you are seeing is attached to the it actually has been pulled out there is an oblique fold of peritoneum that's actually this this you seeing is the peritoneum proper it was attached to this like this to the parietal peritoneum that is called the root of the mesentery actually. the root of the mesentery it extends from duodenal jejunal junction up to the ileocecal junction have an oblique course and the length was about 15 cm in this 15 cm it was crossing anteriorly to the third part of the duodenum it was carrying itself within it the uh, branch from the superior mesentery artery the tributaries to the portal vein that superior mesentery vein then it was crossing in front of the inferior vena cava crossing in front of the sous major then crossing here in front of the ureter yes ureter. ureter right ureter and then reaching to the ileocecal junction then rest this much is the mesentery proper and i told you the length of the jejunum venilium is around 6, 6 meters. meters so you can see lot of foldings here hai na ye plates padti hain iske andar 15 cm se 6 meter ko length ko hum cover kar rahe hain to yahan pe foldings hoti hain plates hoti hai right so this is the loops you can see they are pre mobile then about this mesentery mesentery also you can see is studded with a lot of fat the fat actually is more along you can see is towards the uh, root of the mesentery towards the lower portion of the mesentery there are more of fat more of fat is there and in upper portion especially along this you know nearer to the small intestine you sometimes find windows windows or small openings in which you may find but sometimes along the upper portion of the mesentery then in this mesentery what happens the branches you know around 14 15 branches from the superior mesenteric artery which reach into the mesentery root of mesentery se jaate these branches are given up on the left side from superior mesenteric artery then these branches when they travel in the mesentery they enlarge to most with each other and they form arcades arcades will be in one or two layers at the level of the jejunum but towards the intestinal portion small uh, ileum portion there will be three or four in generations of arcades and then from those arcades there will be vasa recta emerging actually after detaching all this i'll be able to show you more when you will see it uh, in front of the light the transmission ho gayi is me blood cells dikhenge arcade so those vasa recta are longer towards the jejunal portion and there is smaller ileum in front towards the ileum okay then those vasa recta they move along you know to the muscular portion of the small intestine then there is some mucosa so actually these vessels they perforate the layers of the git the muscular layer they are actually the neurovascular plane of the small intestine or any portion of the git is basically the sub mucosa so these vessels ultimately reach into the sub mucosa alternatively vasa recta upper side this one then the next one will be going in line like this and the next one will go like this and they will be just like this right so sansi kehte na us tarah se so what happens is that these vasa these vessels they perfuse the git in the sub mucosa running circumferentially a hemi circle both the sides one side then other side then other side right this so what happens is the anti mesentery border becomes a little a vascular is basically having less of blood supply that's why incisions given there was less of bleeding 